Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you how to complete a cache in the castle, which is a side quest in Hogwarts Legacy. It's right here next to the Charms Classroom Flu Network location, and that's where we're going to start. So that location's right here, this is where it teleports you, and just beneath these stairs is where you're going to start this quest. We're here at the wrong time of day, so we have to wait, and then here is Arthur Plumley. So we're going to talk to him. He gives you this map, which gives you your first steps. Here at the top, you see this skeleton, which is where you're going to start this. And this is actually when you first learn how to solve these maps. And thankfully, it is marked on your mini map with locations to go to, whether it's above you or below you, etc. As you can see, you walk in that classroom and you see the indicator on the pin on the mini map showing you that the quest location is actually beneath us. So we're gonna run down the stairs. We're gonna run across this hall. As you can see here, I actually tried to demonstrate there. If you press your uh, button, which on the computer is the V key, to show you the track to run through to get to your quest, it actually will not help you with these quests. They are meant for you to explore the world and solve them on your own. So this is the skeleton and you get the auditory I am on the right track this is the first clue so you can actually just come in here into your inventory select the second option find your map and you can pull it up at any time to see these clues again and keep in mind there is a hint here as well right there you are going to have to cast Accio at this portion of that portrait when you reach that point in the puzzle. So we're going to continue on. We know that we need to get to this portrait. We're not exactly sure where it is, but we do know where that dragon statue is at here in the courtyard. So there that is. We're going to get another auditory clue that we are close. As your character says, we're getting closer. Now it did say we needed to go through a door, so we need to know we need to do this. Now the question is, do we go up or down? So let's just start. I go down, let's see what happens. I don't see a portrait with the right kind of frame. Oh, look, there's the pin indicator on the mini map. Shows us that the that location is above us. So let's just turn around and we will go up stairs. This looks just a couple flights of stairs. Here's our portrait and we cast Accio here at the handle at the top which pulls the painting toward us within its frame. We can now walk through the door and open the chest. Now we're going to turn around and we go back to Arthur Plumley. Now, if you try to fast travel yourself back to the Charms classroom to turn this into him where he once was, you will find yourself slightly disappointed as his location has slightly changed. None of these distances are very far at all, so I recommend not fast traveling through the quest to get around. Actually, just run around. You may find yourself some pages you can grab, some revelios to reveal and get yourself some more field guide pages, maybe some other side quests to do. There's all sorts of stuff you can do here, but just running around Hogwarts rather than fast traveling will make you more familiar with the map and the game and make these types of puzzles a little bit easier. So we're going to go up the stairs. And here's Arthur Plumley. And really, if you fast traveled to the same location, you'd be fine. He's just the opposite direction from that location. Do your dialogue, finish your quest, and you're all done with that one. Congratulations, you now know how to solve maps. 